in Holloway, I thought I was going to die. Just the entrance alone. Already I bargained for it, but it was heavier than I bargained for. And don't lose your eyesight because you might lose your life. So I never live my life on the edge like this. In Holloway, I can say it's much better because um, it's not only us foreigners, if I may put it. There are some, you know, citizens who are there, so there's a little bit consideration. There's some, you know, organization who come to see how the people are living and so on. And in Holloway, you knew when are you going to come out, yeah. so that keeps you going as well. So whilst in Yarswood, you don't know your faith at all. At least it was a little bit cleaner than Holloway. You know, at least at the entrance, you can see life, the, you know, the fridges, drinks, sandwiches, and so on. Whew, it's just the reception is like, okay, you are not in prison anymore. It's only when you go inside you realize, oh, I'm still in the very same situation, my God. Yes, to me, it was like being a South African, I've seen apartheid to in that year so it's same kind of apartheid you know because of um, the way people they were not treated with respect and women you know and you know the right of not holding a woman like this being a man does not exist in 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 Yalswood, mainly because nobody is there to notify that and nobody is there to check what is going on you know I felt like okay there comes a, a victim again of being who I am first of all being a woman I'm going to be a victim to this uh, circle police that they've been given right by immigration to do anything they want to do to me and nobody's going to do or say anything so to me nothing was new you know, a man is always there to detect on how must I live my life, you know, and how must I breathe, where do I have to go now, 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 or either I'm dead. If I have to choose to go to Yashut or to die, I would rather die. Simple as that, I would rather die because Nobody is fit to stay in that place. It's just tormenting, psychological. I'm still not myself, even today. People whom I was with, we meet all the time on weekends to find out how are we doing. We don't know each other, but that place makes us to know each other because we are all in one place, mm -hmm. leaving two of us. Maybe this one is from Ukraine, this one is from the Caribbean two total strangers in one place and um, we are forced to know each other and to love each other, you know, to help one another. You feel in the absolute that yeah, you are under, you know, the hands of apartheid, typical apartheid, you can die any time. That is, is, you sense it all the time, you know, just by walking, it's heavy. You just don't know. When they call your name, you're trembling. You don't know what is going to be the next. You're going to be handcuffed. You're going to be injected because I've seen how they think like, how they behave, how cold they are. So I'm always expecting negative from them. You know, what I'm thinking now, how to deal with the negative they're going to throw at me. You know, I have to stay positive stay faithful to myself and just give everything to God that, you know what, wherever you throw me, let it be. Just let it be. Human beings, we just need to, you know, need and deserve to live better and so on.